Not of This Earth is an independently made 1957 American black and white science fiction film produced and directed by Roger Corman for his Los Altos Productions, that stars Paul Birch, Beverly Garland, Morgan Jones, William Rorick, and Anna Lee Carroll. The film was written by Charles B. Griffith and Mark Hanna and was distributed by Allied Artists Pictures Corporation as a double feature with Attack of the Crab Monsters. Its theatrical release had a running time of 67 minutes, that was expanded to 70 minutes in 1962 for TV syndication. The storyline concerns the attempts by an extraterrestrial humanoid to surreptitiously secure the blood of humans and to test it on himself as treatment for a fatal blood disorder which is ravaging the population of his home planet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plot A man who is not of this earth Paul Birch has adopted the name, Mr. Johnson, for moving among the populace of Los Angeles. This alien has a sensitivity to high decibel sounds and is conspicuous only for his stilted and formal syntax and his sunglasses, which he wears even in the dark. The sunglasses hide his blank, white-eyed stare which kills his victims by burning through their eyes and into their brains. He removes the blood of his first victim, a teenage girl who has just been dropped off by her boyfriend, using a system of tubes and canisters that he keeps in an aluminum attaché case. Johnson is from the planet Devana, where the inhabitants have developed an incurable blood disease, and he has been sent to Earth to examine the blood of the humans for its usefulness in curing Devana's dying race. Johnson is answerable to an authority on Devana with whom he can communicate through a device hidden behind a sliding panel in the living room of his Griffith Park mansion. His bodyguard, Jeremy Jonathan Hayes, who also acts as his chauffeur and houseboy, provides him support and protection, but is unaware of his alien nature. Johnson hires nurse Nadine Beverly Garland to look after him in his house. Her boss, town physician Dr. Rochelle William Rorick, is under Johnson's hypnotic control after finding out about his patient's peculiar blood cell structure. With a limit on the number of transfusions he can be given, Johnson takes to murdering locals and draining them of blood. Adding to his victims are a strolling Chinese-American man, a sleazy door-to-door -door vacuum cleaner salesman, and a trio of homeless male drunkards. The police are mystified by these "...vampire killings". Johnson's plans are disturbed by the unexpected and sudden appearance of a woman from Devana Anna Lee Carroll. While Johnson can command Earth humans through telepathy, even to the point of using their native tongue, he can also completely communicate with fellow aliens through telepathy. The alien female asks him for an immediate transfusion, because her physical condition is rapidly deteriorating. Johnson then breaks into Rochelle's office, but by accident he steals blood contaminated with rabies. Later, the Devana woman collapses in the street, dying at a hospital. Nadine's friend, police patrolman Harry Sherborne Morgan Jones, tries to question Dr. Rochelle about the dead woman, but he is unable to speak while under Johnson's mind control. As a precaution, now fearing discovery, Johnson sends a bizarre oxygen-activated flying, umbrella-like alien creature to kill Rochelle, then eradicates Jeremy, who has discovered evidence of Johnson's murderous tendencies, but Nadine, whom he attempts to kidnap and take with him, manages to call the police as Johnson takes after her through the park in his car. Johnson abandons her and flees, pursued by the arriving Sherborne on his motorcycle. 
When Sherborne turns on his siren, Johnson, to whom the sound is immensely painful, loses control of his car and dies in a crash. After Johnson's burial, Sherborne and Nadine stand by his grave, which bears the inscription, "'Here lies a man who was not of this earth'." While Sherborne expresses mild compassion for Johnson, for his driving force of the rescue of his planet and its dying populace, Nadine refuses to offer any kind of pity. They leave, just as a mysterious man, wearing dark sunglasses, approaches the grave site. Like Johnson, he wears the same sunglasses and carries the same distinctive case containing transfusion equipment. Cast <coughs> 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 Topic Production Notes Griffith said that after he and Corman had collaborated on the film Gunslinger, he suggested they make a science fiction film and Corman agreed, not of this earth was the result. He also said he originally wrote the part of the vacuum cleaner salesman for himself. Griffith said the film started all this X-ray I business. Most of Roger's themes got established right in the beginning. Whatever worked, he'd come and take again, and a lot of things got used over and over. During the production of Not of This Earth, I was married to a nurse, and she helped me do a lot of medical research. I remember how we cured cancer in that script. Somehow the film was a mess when it was finished. Topic. Props and locations Griffith says that, "...Paul Birch was supposed to wear wraparound glasses, so you couldn't see the sides of his eyes. They stuck gaffer's tape on the sides of his glasses. You can see it if you look. In that film, I was in the scene at the newsstand at Las Palmas." The exterior of the house that Johnson lives in was at 1725 Camino Palermo in Hollywood, it has since been replaced by a block of apartment buildings. The car that Johnson uses is a 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 75 limousine. Dr. Rochelle's office exterior is the now demolished Hollywood Receiving Hospital, which was located at 1350 North Wilcox Avenue in Hollywood. Topic <laughs> Release. Not of This Earth was released in the U.S. on the bottom half of a double bill with Corman's Attack of the Crab Monsters. According to Tim Dirks, the film was one of a wave of «cheap teen movies» released for the drive-in market. They consisted of exploitative, cheap fare created especially for them teens in a newly established teen, drive-in genre. Griffith says that the double bill of Not of This Earth and Attack of the Crab Monsters made a 400% profit in the first week. Some release prints of Not of This Earth run 71 minutes, these include duplicate scenes the film's distributor added into the film. Example, a dialogue between Johnson and a representative from Devana, which appears as a pre-title sequence, is reused again some minutes in the film. This release version circulated in syndication on US TV stations, 16mm copies, and bootleg DVDs and videotapes. Reception Jeff Andrew in his Time Out review, noted that Not of This Earth, 
Low budgets give little reason for regret when the often tacky effects are surrounded by so much imagination, good humor, and sheer joy in film making as here. Not of this earth is a minor sci-fi gem, with an alien Birch, you can tell he's an E.T. by his briefcase and dark glasses, establishing him as infinitely superior to the moronic Middle Americans on view, terrorizing Earth or a small backlot in his quest for blood for the folks back home. Michael Weldon in the Psychotronic Encyclopedia of Film called the film, "...Corman's most enjoyable science fiction film." The Orem Film Encyclopedia, science fiction said not of this earth was, "...marvelous." Lexicon des science fiction films said this about the film. Although not necessarily first rank, Not of This Earth still belongs, bearing its low budget in mind, to the best science fiction films of the 50s. Topic: <laughs> Remakes. Not of This Earth 1988, directed by Jim Wynorski and starring Tracy Lords. Not of This Earth 1995, directed by Terence H. Winkless and starring Michael York. <laughs> <laughs> DVD releases Not of This Earth is available in the U.S. as a regular DVD, a part of the Roger Corman's Cult Classics Triple Feature DVD box set, and in the UK as a single DVD. Foreign DVD releases exist in Spain as Emisario del Otro Mundo and Germany as Die Hour Edition. Topic. See also List of American films of 1957 Vampire film <laughs>